front of you. And just do some toe taps, so try to tap the top of the ball, keeping your balance and switching feet as fast as you can. second exercise, place a line or some kind of marker down in front of you and circle around the line with your feet. Do this five times, stop and then go back the other way. For this one we're going to work on some balance. So keep your marker out in front of you and place a bracket or something similar and grab yourself a ball. The taller the marker is, the harder this becomes. Jump over your marker, land on one leg, keep your balance and try to place the ball on the racket, hop back over the marker, continuing to keep your balance. Try on both legs as well. All you need for this one is a ball. Place the ball in your weaker hand, your non-playing hand, try to throw the ball above your head and catch the ball above your head and hold that This one's called the slingshot. So place your racket above your head, look through your strings at the sky, put the ball on the racket and fire the ball up. Here we're going to do some shadow swings. So get yourself set up with your racket in your playing hand and try to create this tick position with your arms. Reach up and swing the racket as high as you possibly can. You can then look to do this in front of a wall and tap the wall as high as you can. Once you've done this, grab yourself a ball. Now this is quite difficult, so it may take some time to get right. Place the ball in front of you next to the wall and try to trap the ball above your head with the strings. 